What is up everyone? Today, it's a different kind of video. We're repairing a toilet. So, a few months ago, I think a few years ago actually, I, I got a weird, you know, I just want to try out new stuff. So, I got a pump that is shaped like a puck, you know, uh, ones you find in sports and stuff like that. It just looks like one. It's small, flat, kind of wide. That, that's kind of the um, pump I got. It's, it's, as you see, part of it sticks out, obviously, to hook up to the pipes. But, um, well, it didn't work very well because now it takes like six, maybe seven minutes to fill up the tank entirely. So, it's very slow now. Uh, so, I went on Amazon and I bought this. Actually, I'll leave a link in the description. This set... It's, it's all in one set, so you don't have to go out and get every individual part, but let's go over what we have. First, we have the pump, obviously. It bobs up and down like that when the water pressure, not, re not really water pressure, this floats. So, yeah, it does that when it's full. This one's empty, obviously. I've already uh, adjusted it to what a toilet in my house would use. So I believe that's 10 inches tall feels more like 10, it feels more than 10 inches, or does it include this? I don't know, but I said 10, which is the, what the old one, I think it should be, because it fills up all the way, obviously. Here is the screw that holds it in from the bottom. Here's a gasket that holds it from the tank. Here is a, well, here's the clip that clips onto the overflow valve. Here is the, um, the flapper, which holds, well, Holds the tank shut till you pull on the handle and it opens. And here's the tube that fills the, um, that goes to this, which goes onto the overflow um, valve, that this little thing. This connects to here, then to, to the pump. So, uh, first, I'm going to disassemble everything we have in this toilet. Uh, removing the flapper, removing the pump, removing the overflow valve uh, fill, that um, thing that connects to the overflow. I don't know exactly what it's called. So I'm gonna put that in time lapse mode. It's very easy. Just just remove all the all the uh, screws like this, actually, like this, this, and then what's in there. Yeah. So I can put that on time lapse. Okay. One thing I think I for, one thing I forgot to mention is that you should flush the toilet. Wait till all the water is gone from the tank, and also if there's a valve here, turn it off. If there isn't a valve here, which is rare, you go outside to your house and turn off the water from there, the main water supply, if you can't turn off this valve. So you gotta turn off the water to your house some way. So, back to the time lapse. Right, right guys, now that we have all the hardware removed, it's time to start the installation of the new one. So yeah, literally everything's gone, and yes, I did find an old rusty screwdriver in there, so that's kind of weird. And there, you saw it in the time lapse, that old hockey puck looking uh, thing. That's what they call it, not my words. That's what other people call it, yeah. Here's the gasket, first steps to Flip it onto here. Good. Now it's like that. It will create a watertight seal when you drop it into that existing hole right there. I did a time lapse of removing the old one because not too many people actually own a toilet that uses that weird um, new sort of design, but failed design of a uh, of a pump. Uh, so you want to position it like that. Actually, before I do that, I kind of want to attach this first so that it's easier. You don't have to you don't have to struggle trying to put that on while it's facing backwards. So yeah, it just saves you a bit of time and 
effort. I want to do that just for now so it doesn't get in the way. So it can sit like this, precisely like that. Now you'll want to tighten this screw underneath, tighten it to the right. So uh, I tightened up that screw off camera. It's really easy. You just gotta make it real tight so that it will, uh, will it won't leak. Well, if it leaks, that's bad. You did it wrong. So next step, this. This is the um, the flapper. For this one, if you buy the exact kit I uh, show you on Amazon, that's in the description below. For this, you just want to press on both sides until you, till it clicks. So it's a pretty good um, mechanism. Better than older ones. Now, here's the tricky bit. I will have to put this, well, you might not have to, but I do have this, which is both a benefit and a uh, drawback. It's very variable, that's the thing. It's extremely variable. Um, you can adjust basically anything, which is also bad, but because um, that isn't always compatible. So here's here's how you do it if you've got this, or basically any, uh, what's it called? Handle, toilet handle. Hang on. Oh, I'll have to change the camera angle. There, that is pretty much better. It, just just try to follow what I'm doing. So I usually remove the uh, metal hook from the chain. Look down there and see what matches up with that. Put this, because this actually adds length to it. You want to kind of hold this tight, but not when the not till the flapper lifts up. Hold that there, and approximately what chain it would be on. My case, hang on, it kind of shook. It's this one. Just want to see where that end lines up with what chain link and then you'll want to clip it there with this part at where the where it clip onto the handle sorry you couldn't see that where this which chain link this one lines up to and where this is on the handle if you try if you get what I'm trying to say oh hang on and then you'll want to fully insert into the chain, into the metal clip, so that it will uh, link up good. And then, there we go. It is properly attached. There we go. Yeah, don't worry about the extra bit hanging off. You could uh, cut it off if you want, but... Uh, I guess I could leave it there. Doesn't hurt. Now, next step, once you get that settled, is to connect this to here, this end of the tube, to this side of the um, over overflow um, valve, and then clip it over there. And now you have successfully installed a new pump and flapper into your toilet. You just gotta clip it on like that and you're good. Final step, and also one of the most important, pump this right back on. And now, time to turn on the water and see how it goes. Oh shoot, hang on. Oh, I see what I forgot to do. <laughs> okay, um, remember to put back on the pipe. 
yeah, don't forget that. Tighten it back on, and it will work. Let me do that off camera. It's very easy. Just, just tighten it there. Okay, now that it's been tightened back on again, the same way you undid that, time to go. All right, I hear it filling up. I want to open it just to check on it. Okay, is it going to stop? If it doesn't, you'll have to adjust that. And yes, it does stop before the overfill valve, valve, overflow valve, whatever it's called. This valve. So no water goes down there. Let's try flushing it. And it works. I'm happy to report that it does work. And it fills up very fast now. So if your toilet is filling slow, won't stop, or any issue, this is probably the right way to fix it. If not, it's something... Well, let me give you a quick common list of what could happen to make this uh, happen. Water isn't stop... Water will not stop filling up. That's the pump. Water filling up too slow. That's the pump. Um... Water's leaky, that could be the uh, flapper. Uh, and that's basically it. That's the very basic reasons why a pump replacement is necessary. Based on my experience. Now, since I can confirm it works, let's pop that back on. Also, as I was talking, it completely filled up. I would have had to talk for a few more minutes uh, for the other one to completely fill up. And there it is, in that little plastic bowl underneath there just to catch all the water. Uh, out of curiosity, I kind of want to disassemble that other one, so. Hang on. I get that. Yeah, that's the kind of the end. You don't have to disassemble your old one. There's a spring. There's a screw, sort of. There are three screws, it looks to be. It's green. I got some green paint on my skin. Yeah, there's green ink leaking everywhere. It's probably from that gasket. What I can say is that this is quite poorly made, if I'm honest. It failed in a few months or something. Well, at least it started to fail in a few months. There it is. That pops out. I will poke that out the other side. There it is. That looks to be part of the filler. Can you pop that out? Yes, not. This pops out quite easily. It looks like some kind of diaphragm. Something like that. Got some kind of valve up here, like some kind of rubber thing. I'm really not sure how this works or how it even works at all. Here's, I'm not sure. A close up of this part. I don't know, just a bunch of random bits put together. <laughs> I just like the traditional style um, pump, which is what I just installed. It's common on a lot of toilets. So, yeah, I just took it apart just to show you what's inside this very odd looking pump. If you know how exactly it works, tell me in the comments below. I would love to know. Oh yeah, there is a spring in there. Okay. Don't really want to touch it as it colors my fingers. Um, some dark, dirty looking stuff.
It looks like like color from the gaskets and stuff. Yeah. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, if it's helpful to you, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech-related videos, not exactly home repair videos. But yeah, I'll see you next time.